Hey everyone, welcome to your Wednesday watch. Today I'm going to show you how I create this gothic almond shape. Um, but I'm not going to sculpt. I'm going to be using my crystal clear square tips that are on my website. Now it was these that I uh, used in my scratch competition. Um, uh, and this is how I did it. So I have already prepped these two nails that I'm going to show you. And I always like to stick that tip on first. Um, personally, I don't like to pinch it beforehand because where I want to apply it to the free edge of the nail will be too narrow and I'm messing about. So you want it as narrow as the natural nail anyway. So get the tip on first and then we will start to tailor that tip into the gothic almond that we are going to want um this is one of my favorite favorite um shapes it seems to suit my hands quite well i can't do square at all um because i got look at my fingers teeny tiny nail beds i'm a horrible biter um so these i just love them really love them nice nail like them so after they're stuck and they're firm i'm going to pinch them pinch them like i've never pinched anything in my whole friggin life i'm going to pinch them so tight straight down the center because they will start to just open up a little bit but i will continually pinch them shut so then with these nippers from amazon yes prime um they open quite wide and you can snip both sides easy not having to line them up perfect good old amazon thank you very much Next, I'm going to go in with my trusty metal file. I would be completely lost without this. It doesn't flex. So it's going to give me those sharp shapes. First thing I'm going to do is sort out that lower arch. You need a really dead straight lower arch from the lowest point of your natural nail straight out to the free edge. Now, this is a gothic almond nail. Um, looks very, very similar to the Russian almond nail. But there's a slight difference. It's barely noticeable. I know, that's it. But... With a Russian, you're going to be parallel from apex to tip, completely straight line from apex to tip, bang straight. And that will be in line with your lower arch, bang straight, nice parallel lines. But with a gothic, it will have a very, very gentle drop from the apex to the tip. Very gentle, hardly recognisable, but it's not as dead straight as a Russian almond. Personally, I prefer it to a Russian almond. Um, so yeah, again, just making sure that that lower arch is dead straight with a good old metal file, making sure that my free edge has got that angle that we need and I'll probably give them a bit more of a pinch. The next thing I'll do when I'm happy is I'm gonna dehydrate this nail and I'm gonna prime the nail. Um, and then we'll go in and do some designs. Um, I've done I'm going more to the dark side. I'm feeling the autumn. It is literally pissing down outside today. It is, honestly, it's biblical out there. It is awful weather. So I've gone to the dark side and with a black and gold. Um, and I do really, really like it. I don't know. I definitely probably won't have it on the other hand. You can see I've already started to do that one with some gold leaf and um, a glitter as well. And that will be different. Why? Because I get two pictures. I get two pictures on Instagram. So if you don't follow my Instagram, don't always record the other hand. Go and find my Instagram and there's always different pictures on there as well. Next one, after I have dehydrated and primed, is that clear base layer. This is what protects that natural nail. It's what I'll file back to when I'm ready to redesign, which will probably be next Tuesday. And... Um, yeah, I'm just going to go in and protect that natural nail. I'm going to pick up a tiny, tiny bead and place it on the nail. The next thing I'll do is tip my brush upwards, put in the tip of my brush above and behind, giving a little tap, 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 wiping down each side wall so it's nice and thin. Tap, 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 wipe. And then painting it down, making sure it's super duper thin. If it's too thick here, it will show throughout the whole design. You know when you go and you go to file at the end of the design and you, you hit your clear base layer? Because it was already too thick. The problem was already done. You can't go back and fix it. So always make sure your base layer is as thin as it can be right from the get-go. Right, glitter. This is Golden Days from my website. I'm going to be using this and I'm going to be using gold leaf 
and an antique gold as well. I'm using carbon black from Glitter Bells and can't remember the core. I always do this, don't I? Can't remember what the core was. Natural? I don't know. But I'll do the good YouTube thing. I'll put it in the description. I'll list everything with all the discount codes, websites, etc, etc. Um, I'm really getting into this whole YouTube thing as well. The boys keep saying to me, Mum, have you done your video? Have you done this? Have you done that? I'm like, yes. Um, so, yeah, Teddy really, really enjoyed everyone's comments last week. Um, he is back to school today. Um, but, yeah, thank you for being so kind to him. He really, really liked it. And it's not something I'm always going to do, but it just... Mum life got in the way, didn't it? Sometimes I've got to be a mum. And, and if I've got my kids at home, that's how it's going to be. Um, so, yeah, Ted helped with a YouTube video and he loved it. So we've put a reverse smiley. I'm afraid I didn't talk through that one. But I am making sure that I have got the wall. I've recorded quite a few of these, though. If you need me to ramble on about that, there'll be another video where I can tell you. But literally, placing that bead... Making sure the back of it was lovely and flush. Stretching down that nail to create a wall. Now that wall is where I will push my product up against. Um, trying to shape it all with my brush. But if I make a bloody hash of it, then metal file's coming out again. And I can just crisp it up. Making it really, really nice. Um, lovely to go in and put some designs. Um, what am I going to do next? Ooh. I think I know what this one was and I quite like this one. Carbon black now. It's so pigmented like all the blacks so only a teeny tiny squidge. Blending it back you don't want a big lip and I don't want a big harsh line. So blending it back so it's nice and soft. Next I'm going to go in with golden days after this. Now picking up that glitter you're going to pick up an eye bogey size bead of acrylic. That literally is the size of an eye bogey. So if it's bigger than what you would find in the corners of your eyes in the morning, get fucking rid of it. It's too big. It's going to be too bulky. You just need enough acrylic to hold the glitter down. You're not creating no structure and sure as hell you don't want to create any bulk. So just get an eye bogey and then dip it into your raw glitter and placing it onto the nail. Now, I'm going to do a three-way on this one. I've done the carbon black. I'm going to do glitter. And then I'm going to do the nude um, cover from the cuticle. I see these about and I really like it. You know, uh, you see the glitter through it. Uh, it must be a word. I'm just, yeah, I don't know. But yeah, that's what I'm going to do here. So just pushing it into place. Making sure that the glitter's not really bulky because I've got to come over this again and we don't want a big ass nail so keeping it as thin as I can as I go along oh it's so beautiful look at that thumb it's so nice as well um but yeah so this shape is not just for the sculpting anymore this is what you've got to do step outside of it and uh have a play I would really like to see some if you if you've watched this and you managed to do it Please tag me, tag me on Instagram. Um, I'll I'll give you a share, a like, and yeah, I'd love to see it. Love, love, love to see it. So, short sharp pulls with my brush, feathering down that cover powder, so I can see that glitter beneath it. Really like this nail. When I come to cap this nail, I won't be capping from the cuticle. I'll just be coming over, just just um where that where that nude is and pulling down they don't need to create any more bulk at the back we're going to create a nice full cover black here um not going to pull it all the way to the end if it did it wouldn't matter but i know that i'm putting glitter at the free edge so the first thing is tip the brush above and behind tap 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 and paint oh lush I did a dark colour in a previous one and I describe it as gel polish. Treat it like gel. No freaking whacking it. If you're just going to whack it and force it, it's just going to squidge everywhere. Be very, very gentle. Um, very wet. And just paint it down the nail. And the next thing I'll do is get that eye bogey bead again. Remember, teeny tiny bead. Dipping it into your raw glitter. Um, like, I love pre-mixed um glitter acrylics i do i have loads of them 
Um, and you can mix your raw glitters with clear acrylic and have a pot ready to hand. But I personally, I like to keep it raw because I can use that with gel polish clients. I can move it all around. Um, and I just, I just prefer to work this way. Um, so just ombre in that up, keeping it really nice and thin at the free edge um, until I'm happy and I can keep moving it around because there's minimal amount of acrylic just like water. I can play with that for quite a while. Next, I'm going to get out a super fine antique gold glitter. Now, I had these cut finer than the finest glitter that you've got. Um, so it's perfect both for burnishing into gel polishes, those swooshes, and it's great for this. I know that I want golden days at the cuticle, but it, he's got a bit of chunk in there. So I'm going to put a similar colour behind it. Oh, I always do this. So it means I can keep my cuticle area nice and thin. It will look like I've got golden days everywhere, but I haven't. I've got antique gold underneath it. So I picked it up with that eye bogey and moving my brush around, the fuel, the liquid, came out of my brush, turning that teeny tiny eye bogey into liquid. And I was just able to paint it just as I do with clear uh, with um, a coloured acrylic. Next, golden days coming in. He thinks he's the star of the show, but really, golden days has saved this. Everyone thinks, oh, that's nice, but really, the praise here goes to the antique gold. Thank you, my friend. Next, after this, we are going to be putting in gold leaf. Oh, love gold leaf. Bit fiddly, especially when you've got your new claws on, and on the other hand, I've got those little nubbins and one thumb. But you can just rip it apart tear it to pieces um you will see i'll come in with my scissors as well because i was getting a little bit angry um because it just wasn't going quite right and as long as your nail is uh, you know still quite wet you can just dab it in now this i don't get clear and dip into the um leaf i'll get clear and paint it on the nail and then stick it to that otherwise i'll get into a right mess and it will just um yeah it'll awful it'll end up just sticking to everything so i like to lay a super wet clear onto the nail and then picking up my leaf i do this with my flakes as well so if i'm working with flakes i'll paint onto the nail i'm now just going to um fuck about for a bit because i'm anal and yeah i'm just going to mess around like this nail would have been done long before but because I'm mental, I'm like, oh no, I can't, I can't have that. But part of me is like, if I don't spend that time, then I would notice it in my pictures and it would haunt me in my sleep. And yeah, that's not good. So I do fiddle and do mess about. And yeah, I'm, I'm not going to apologise for it. So yeah, I'm just going to snip, snip, snip and dab it in. Again, I would love to say thank you to you all um, for staying with me, following me, listening to my random rambles, um, because I do, I do just bloody waffle on, um, I think it's because I don't really see anybody, I'm just here with my poodle, hi poodle, say hi poodle, I'm trying to poke her but she's just looking at me, um, but yeah, I just do waffle on I guess, but hopefully you enjoy it, um, but yeah, thanks guys, and I've managed to keep up with the Wednesday, so I kind of look forward to the next one. Um, so again, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I am crisping up that smile line. Why not, eh? Hey? Um, with my metal file, making sure my file is flat against it. So it's giving me that sharp wall ready so that I can push some colour up to it. And I'm going to be doing the same as I've done on the thumb. So I'm going to be using carbon black and glitter and foil so it doesn't matter if this looks a bit messy i can put the black on and i can pull it right up over the nail because it'll disappear when i file it so make sure you get it up into those wings because if you don't that will come back and bite on the ass in a picture so pull it right up into the wings right up that wall again it doesn't matter if you hit the nail bed it doesn't matter one bit um so yeah, that's that. Just pulling it down very gently. Not all the way down because I wanted to keep a clear tip slightly. Just going back in with some golden days and some foil. I'll let you watch because um, there's nothing else I can say. I'm all, I'm actually rambled out. I've got, I'm nothing. I'm nothing to say. I'll see you in a minute.
Okay, time to encapsulate. So we don't want these big and bulky. These nails have got so much structure. Um, you can see, and I, I've tried to at the end, um, move my hand around so you can physically see the apex on these nails. You can see from my right hand that I literally have no fucking nail. Um, they are flat and bitten. So this is high enough. They don't need to be massive. Um, and hopefully that comes across and you will see it. So yeah, just encapsulating it. Just making sure that nothing twinkles back to me with this glitter nail. If anything is shining at me, then it will disappear. Oh, bugger, my phone just cut off because I only had 10% battery left. Mwah. So, yeah, I was saying that make sure that you completely cover it because if you don't, when you file it, it will just disappear. Also, when it cut me off, I really listened to it. Sounds like I'm fucking recording this in a tin can. Um, it's like I'm in a baked bean can, isn't it? It's so tinny. Don't know what that is. I'm sat under the stairs. Maybe it's echoing. Don't know. Um, look, I can just about got the hang of doing a video every week. I can't get a sound system. It's just going to have to be tinny. Um, yeah, that's that. Right, I'm going to go on and I'm going to encapsulate these nails. Um, please keep watching. You'll see the video at the end of um, me doing the top coat which everybody bloody loves don't they um and you'll see those apexes and some images and again please guys if you don't subscribe i would love it if you could archie actually bollocked me the other day he said mom you lost some sub 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 some subscribers so yeah i did um i didn't tell teddy because it was the week that teddy did the thing maybe people don't like him um <laughs> i'm not gonna tell him he's only six don't want to give him a complex so maybe it's me no, it's definitely him. Why would they like me? <laughs> Joking peeps, jokes. Um, right, please, I will see you all again next week. Next Wednesday, Wednesday what? Tell a friend. See you all again then. Love you all. Bye.